Our topic uh, will be about definition of accounting, traditional and modern bookkeeping, five major accounting categories, the chart of accounts, accounting equation, and T accounts. So accounting is the bookkeeping methodology involved in creating a financial record of all business transactions and in preparing statements concerning the assets, liabilities, and operating results of the business. Accounting methods and terms have standard rules known as generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. Now, bookkeepers are individuals that manage all the financial data for companies. Under the general notion that knowledge is power, bookkeepers to have a certain degree have a high level of power within a company given their access and knowledge of all the, its financials. With proper bookkeeping, companies are able to track all information in the company's books to help make key decisions, which include operating, investing, and financing matters. Without bookkeepers, companies would have no clue about their current financial position, and any transactions that occur within the company. Just as much as bookkeeping is important to the company's internal users, accurate bookkeeping is also crucial to external users, such as the investors, financial institutions, or the government, who needs access to reliable information to make better investment or lending decisions. Now, prior to computers and software, the bookkeeping for small businesses usually began by writing entries into journals. Journals were defined as the books of original entry. Now, in order to reduce the amount of writing in a general journal, special journals or day books were introduced. The special or specialized journals consisted of the sales journal, purchase journal, and the cash receipt journal. The company's transactions were written in the journals in date order. Later, the amounts in the journals would be posted to the designated accounts located in the general ledger. Examples of accounts include sales, rent expense, wages expense, cash, loans, payable, and so many others. Each account's balance had to be calculated, and the account balances were used in the company, company's financial statements. In addition to the general ledger, a company may have subsidiary ledgers for accounts such as accounts receivable. Now, the electronic speed of computers and accounting software gives the appearance that many of the bookkeeping and accounting tasks have been eliminated or are occurring simultaneously. For example, the preparation of a sales invoice will automatically update the relevant general ledger accounts such as the sales, accounts receivable, inventory, cost of goods sold, update uh, update the customer's detailed information, and the store information information for the financial statements as well as other reports. The accounting software like the QuickBooks, the Zero, and so many others has been written so that every transaction must have the debit amounts equal to the credit amounts. The electronic accuracy also eliminates the errors that had occurred when amounts were manually written rewritten and calculated. As a result, the debits will always equal the credits and the trial balance will always be in balance. No longer will hours be spent looking for errors that occurred in a manual system. But you have to bear in mind that while the accounting software is amazingly fast 
and ac accurate in processing the information that is entered, the software is unable to detect whether some transactions have been omitted, have been entered twice, or if incorrect accounts were used. Fraudulent transactions and amounts could also be entered if a company fails to have internal controls. Now, these are the five major accounting categories. The first one is the asset, followed by liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, and the expense. So to determine the correct account category for the assets, liabilities, on net worth, revenue, expense, you must identify the correct line item account. Example, the salaries and wages, employee share or sick leave expense, annual leave expense, etc. Ensure correct amount used when recording or posting the transaction. So be consistent and accurate. The currency signs are not used in journals or ledgers. They are used in financial reports. Commas used to show thousands of uh, either dollars or peso are not required in journals or ledgers. They are used in financial reports. So decibel points are not required on ruled journals or ledgers. They are used in financial reports. So those are the basic bookkeeping process for each business transactions. So let's go to the chart of accounts. All accounting systems used a chart of accounts. This is the chart of account is a listing of accounts in a financial system, generally using numeric or alphanumeric characters to designate the transactions that comprise the balance sheet and income statement. The chart of accounts is used as the basis for preparing financial reports from the accounting system and the reports should be designed to capture financial information necessary to make good financial decisions so inside the chart of accounts could include the following first is the assets liabilities net worth revenue and expenses so if you are using a software or accounting software, you will see this uh, number before the word assets, which is 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So it will uh, help you determine if it's an asset, liabilities, net worth, revenue, or expenses. Now, these are some of the examples of the assets, liabilities, net worth, revenue, and expenses. So for assets, uh, example is cash, accounts receivable, automotive, automobile, equipment, building, land, and so on. And so with liabilities and to the expenses. So transactions will be sorted into perhaps hundreds of accounts, including cash, accounts receiv receivable, and so many others. The amounts in each of the accounts will be reported on the company's financial statements in detail or in summary form. So accountants or the bookkeepers have used the terms debit and credit for so many years to describe where numbers are placed in journals and ledger books so when you say debit it is as it means you have it is in the left side and credit means to the right side so it is always like that so that's uh if you can also write debit dr then credit cr now this is the basic accounting equation so assets is equals to liabilities plus equity. And this is the normal balance of the equation. So in the basic equation, the normal balance for asset is 
debit or to the or it is in the left side and liabilities and equity is to the right or credit so in expanded basic equation the assets the expenses the dividend and losses is debit and then liabilities capital revenue or gains is credit the normal balance is always debit on the left and credit on the right so when recording transactions in the journals and ledgers the five major account categories are increased or decreased by debits or credits as shown in the presentation so this in your going is this is also useful when you're going to make a t account so for asset the normal balance is debit right so if you're going to add an asset you have to put it in the debit side to increase the asset so if it's on the credit side it will decrease the asset so since the liabilities has a normal balance of credit if you are going to put an amount in the debit side of liabilities it will decrease the total liabilities and then if you're going to put on uh, the amount on the credit side of liabilities it will uh, increase the li liability and so with the other accounts in the ledger so i will give you the detailed example in the next discussion so recording transactions in bookkeeping and accounting involves the recording of a company's financial transactions the transactions will have to be identified approved sorted and stored in a manner so they can be retrieved and presented in the company's financial statements and other reports so here are some of the examples of the company's fin financial transactions are the purchase of supplies with cash uh, purchase of merchandise on credit, the sale of merchandise on credit, rent for the business office, and so many others. With hundreds of accounts and perhaps thousands of transactions, it is clear that once a person learns the, the accounting software, there will be efficiencies and better information available for managing a business. So that ends our lesson for today. So in conclusion, bookkeeping is necessary in order to keep correct financial rec records. Despite this, many companies fail to implement this critical procedure. Apart from the fact that it is required by law, keeping proper books and records will save you time and aggravation in the future. In fact, poor accounting is one of the leading causes of business failure. Your mindlessness driving without bookkeeping or account. So that ends our topic for uh, today. So I hope you learned something. So I will be discussing um, the example of T accounts in the next 